Hey guys, welcome back. I just wanted to make a really, really, really short video, uh, but I wanted to bring out a new update which came out yesterday. Um, so basically, Shatsin UI now has themes. So introducing themes, handpick colors that you can copy and paste into your apps. If you haven't watched this video over here, uh, you will. Uh, do take a look at that. That is uh, a broad overview of what Shatsin UI is and how it works and how to customize it as well. But now, uh, Shatsin UI has ready-made color set up for you to just copy and paste into your global CSS. I'll show you how to do this. Just open this link, ui.shatsin.com slash themes. Let me just zoom in in case you can't see. I will try to set this up as fast as I could to show you guys a broad overview of how fast this will take. So I'm going to create a next app. Um, next, npm create. Oh my goodness! Create next app. At latest, uh, Shatsin UI themes. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Okay, that's installed. Let me just open that really quick. Shatsin UI themes. I have this, now I need to init chatscene dash UI, go to documentation, go to installation, click on next.js, go down, click on this, click on pnpm, and paste. That will take a second or two and it will ask us these questions basically in like a few seconds. So now we have this, we are using TypeScript, yes, so we'll use TypeScript. Uh, I'll use default, I'll use so slate is fine. Global CSS would be an SRC app slash global slot CSS. Uh, oh wait, I, I must set up. Let me do that again. Yep. Default slate SRC slash app slash global dot CSS. Yep, we can use that. We need to use CSS variables for this because the CSS variables are basically containing the theme. Tailwind.config is fine, components is fine, libutils is fine, RSCs we're using, and we'll create a components.json. Components.json has all the metadata which is needed by Shadzin UI. So that will take a second. Now that that's done, what I want to do is add a button. So I go back, click on the button inside the documentation, click on this, click on PM. PM. Uh, it will add the button. Till that time, okay, let's wait for that to happen. Okay, I want to install the dependencies. I go Y. Now that that's done, I'm going to go into src slash page.tsx. I'm going to remove everything over here. So I'm going to go to CIT and let's move everything inside this. Uh, let me just give it a Okay, so here's what I wanted. Uh, let me make it just the dark mode for now because I don't want to uh, go through all the processes here. Let's go dark, and we need to obviously import cn from at slash clip slash utils. So now that that's done, this will have only the dark mode. Let me just give it a class name of p4 to give some spacing outside. Then what I'm going to do is add the button. Go we'll add the button like that. Now, if I just try to run this, let me do I have anything on this? Yep, okay. Let me pnpm dev and open that. So we have this button now. By default, it is just this light uh, gray ish color. Now, to give this a theme, what we want to do is go back, go to themes. Say I want. Uh, let's see. I like. Uh, yeah, let's go for rows and click on copy code. We're using default. If you want, you can change it here, but we're already already using New York there. Uh, default there. You can change the radiuses however you want. This will also change the button radiuses. Say say I want a 0.3. All right, and click on copy code. Now click on copy over here. Go back to your. this and go to your globals.css over here you have all these right instead of this just this 
uh, let me actually do something like this let me comment everything which is there by default over here and then paste this whatever ha i had in the clipboard one second copy paste that so i have all this over here now if i save this just go back and it changed the radius it changed the button color say i ha added a co calendar component over here Okay, I'm done with the installation of that. All I need to do now is go over here, click on see calendar. I haven't used a calendar component before. I'm just giving this a short. Keep going back. Do that. Refresh. Let's see. Can't resolve this. Do I need to install something else as well? Oh, let's let's try these as well okay this needs a client component let's go uh src components uh cal.tsx which will be a client component let's put default function cal return the calendar so we need to get the date which will come from here all right let's go import react import star as react okay that should work now let me just go over here and change this to cal instead and remove this function call and if i go back go over here refresh once let's see if this works I still don't have this, which is weird. Okay, guys, looks like there was some issue with the next config modularize imports, which they're working on to, you know, uh, speed up the process uh, of the development server. Uh, apparently, if I uh, upgraded, let me just get this upgraded next to the Canary version and Lucid React downgraded to this version it starts working over here and now you can see that this is still working with the shadsian ui update so just ignore the error which came up before it is uh, hopefully next year's uh, the cell team will fix that soon uh, but till then uh, go around you know, check this out look at the different themes how you can customize this you can also actually just go to globals.css and customize this however you want using the hsl values as mentioned in the video uh, in the starting um, so uh, that's it for this video i just wanted to keep it a very short video and give you the idea of, of how this theming works and in my opinion this makes shards in ui even more powerful and easy to work with so again that's it for this video for more such content please like share and subscribe and keep watching goodbye